Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome. It's really nice to see a lot of you. Uh, it's nice to see all of you. Sorry, not a lot of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this, uh, you're here for the second Zero Knowledge Summit. Um, this has been a pretty exciting road getting to this part, at, to this point. There's a lot of people who applied to be here. I've had to say no to a lot of people. You are the lucky few. Welcome. <laughs> so, um, I'm Anna. I'm Frederick. And uh, we're the co-hosts of a podcast called... Zero, oh. Wi-Fi info first. Oh, oh, oh. Zero Knowledge. So yeah, the Zero Knowledge podcast, I think some of you might know about it. Um, we're going to tell you a little bit more about it as we go on. To start, though, I'm going to share just some practical info. Why is this? Oh, maybe there. It's, yeah, it's bottom, bottom. That's this way. So <laughs> practical info. Uh, first piece of practical info is I really like this color scheme. It's extremely bright. I don't know why, but this is where we're going with it. I hope you don't mind. It might make your eyes burn just a little bit. <laughs> All right. So Wi-Fi. Uh, there are signs around the room to get hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Please do that. There is a Telegram group, which you should have received an invite to. Try to get into it. Oh, wait. What? What did you need? This guy? Sure, sure. So yeah, the Telegram group, um, I, I saw a few people started to, like a few of the people who are hosting breakouts started to sort of post notes about their breakouts. That's great. Do that. Like, if you're hosting a breakout, use this group to just let people know what you're doing. I think it would be really cool. Yeah, amenities. There's coffee all day. There's going to be some lunch. There's going to be some drinks later. Um, everything should be taken care of. I think if you try to buy booze during the day, you have to pay for it yourself. Sorry, <laughs> we're not supporting day drinking here. Uh, but everything else should be covered. Cool. Talking a little bit about the program, our layout is slightly different from uh, last year. So we do have two stages, three breakout sessions. If you were here last year, the rooms have shifted around a little bit. So just pay attention to that. The second stage is at the back of that hallway over there. And uh, we have a packed schedule. There's a lot of exciting things to talk about, so uh, there's a lot of stuff going on kind of at the same time. Uh, these posters will be up everywhere, so if you can't read this right now, which you probably can't, that's totally fine. Just find the poster with the schedule outside, or it's also available online. This is the afternoon, and we can get back to that later. Um, just a quick note. I think you guys might have noticed when you came in, There's some. we gave you stickers if you don't want to be on camera. But just so you know, this room and the other, uh, the side chain stage, so that's a stage, those will both be filmed. So just maybe keep that in mind. Cool. So we're going to talk a little bit about the podcast. For those who don't know, or maybe those who are curious about like what we've been up to, um, we started this podcast in, actually, do you want to say this part? Sorry. <laughs> I can. <laughs> yeah, we started early, and we're sort of uh, 2017, but early 2018, we decided to try to make this a weekly thing and just go for it. And it turned out that we could, and it, it, it kind of worked. Uh, so now it's a weekly podcast. We did the event, the first event in March, and it was a huge success, so we're obviously doing it again. We've done, in the meantime, a bunch of podcasts, uh, especially like some event-focused ones as well that uh, sort of if you're interested in events, you can check out. Um, but in general, we have 41 episodes out and counting. So we have over, I think, 37 hours of what I believe is great educational content and um, on all sorts of topics. If you haven't listened to the podcasts, uh, these are some of our most popular episodes. Uh, so intro with Howard Du, who's right here, to ZK Snarks. Uh, and Fastest a, growing podcast a, a so far. General introduction to Zero Knowledge Proofs that's sort of a, at a bit lower level that you might send to someone who doesn't know what it is already. Um, we have a great story by Griff of what happened around the DAO and more. Cool. So I think we wanted to quickly give you guys just a sense of like why we're doing the Zero Knowledge podcast. Um, I think, so the Zero Knowledge podcast, the topics that we cover are not only Zero Knowledge, we're actually doing the Zero Knowledge series right now, 
But we also cover sort of general decentralized web topics, web three topics. We interview people we think are really interesting. Um, personally, what's been really cool about this event is, or about this podcast is whenever I've been curious about something, I get a chance to dive into it, to interview somebody and sit with them maybe like an hour, ask them everything I want and then share that. And I think what I've seen the podcast kind of evolve into is something where we can add like a bit of context to a lot of these projects and a lot of the other, even like educational platforms where they're trying to teach you about things. We're not necessarily only teaching, we're trying to like add the little extra, the, the feel for what it's like to work in it. And as somebody who comes from the startup land and has shifted over to de like more decentralized web topics, um, I feel like it appeals to devs like that, people or people who are, you know, maybe coming from tech, but not this exact kind of tech. What about you? For me, it's always been, I started the podcast because I wanted to have something that I would listen to. Uh, I basically couldn't find the content that I wanted, and so I went out to try to make it. And, I mean, I'm a developer. I'm trying to approach this from a developer's point of view, uh, talk about things that I'm interested in that I think a developer would be interested in. So um, hopefully a lot of people in this room would find that interesting as well. So what's next for us? Uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to build out more community things. The Telegram group, Twitter. We actually started our Twitter uh, here last time at the Zero Knowledge Summit 1. So it's grown pretty nicely since then. And um, we're also looking to find more partners and sponsors to help us grow. And so far, we've actually done very few sponsorships on our podcast. And I think that was like a kind of a smart move to like understand our voice. But yeah, we're, we're definitely more open to that now. And we want to do um, some more events, like this one. So what is, do you want to say this part or do I say this part? I don't remember. I'll keep going. OK. Uh, what is this? This is the second edition of the Zero Knowledge Summit. There's 150 participants, I would say. This time, I think it's going to be like maybe a little bit more. The topics we chose to do this time was uh, zero knowledge, ZK snarks, and privacy. Uh, last time was a bit more general. This time we actually focused in much more on, on zero knowledge topics. You are currently in House Ungan. This is, it has a little history that's kind of neat. Uh, it was, I mean, so the building is not very pretty from the outside. I think we can all acknowledge that. Uh, but the view is really nice. And it actually, so it used to be the Hungarian Cultural Institute that was opened in 1973. This is this room back then. And it was also a place where uh, people would actually, during the DDR, during the German uh, kind of communist era that was, that was definitely in this area, uh, people could join, could get together here and talk about controversial topics and watch uncensored films. So that's like a neat little tidbit. So... What about, what is Zero Knowledge all about? What do you think Zero Knowledge Summit is all about? I think it's all about learning. Uh, and hopefully we have a lot of great content for everyone here to learn from. It it's, will be a, a huge range from introductory topics to advanced topics. So I think it's, it'll be good. And uh, we asked a question uh, in the like application form of this. Uh, uh, when you when you applied to come here, we asked the question, "How would you describe zero knowledge to a friend?" And we got some pretty funny answers. So we were going to share a couple of these with you. We did not associate names, so don't worry. But some of them were pretty funny. Um, I would say like a lot of them were quite good. Um, some of them were kind of funny, I guess. So this one's a good one: a way to prove you know something without revealing what it is. Lol. Yeah, I didn't get that part so much. This was good. Two people being able to say to each other, I know that you know, and only that. <laughs> uh, to the question, how would you explain zero knowledge to a friend? We got the, I have no friends. <laughs> I know where you are. <laughs> um, there was a lot of talk of magic magically prove that you are of legal drinking age without revealing your date of birth to a bartender. There was a lot of mentions of magic and a lot of mentions of legal drinking age. Actually, both of those came up quite a few times. 
this one I didn't catch right away, but with ZK proofs, I can give you a mathematical argument about some secret that I know and convince you 100%, but you still learn nothing about that secret. I liked mathematical. That was an answer. Two balls and a colorblind friend. <laughs> it's like the beginning of a joke right there. This one too. <laughs> Ali Papa K for fun and profit. It's like saying, I know how to sing, but I don't have to sing to you. This is a good one. Look at it closely. It's slightly murdery. <laughs> I don't. That's fair too. Uh, this is a thought. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a longer one. Cre I like the creepy assumptions in that. Nice. This, this was a few of them too. Even though I have a vague idea, I would fumble at the explanation, get blank stares, and then it's hoping this conference helps me with it, and we hope that as well. Um, cool, so I think what we wanna do now is just say thank you to some of the people who helped make this happen. Uh, this uh, edition is, uh, our, one of our, our, main, our main sponsor is Decrypt Capital. Uh, this has been a very cool uh, partnership. They are focused on, they're an investment firm focused on uh, privacy preserving technologies and we just felt like this was such a cool connection point and I really want to say thank you to Decrypt Capital for coming on board. Um, our gold sponsors are New Cipher and Least Authority. So New Cipher is a data layer for blockchains and decentralized applications that gives developers a way to store, share and manage private data. And Least Authority is a Berlin based company that supports people's rights to privacy through security consulting and building secure solutions. And actually it was a convert, so New Cypher was here last time. I know their session was super popular last time, so I'm so glad you guys are back. And Liz from Least Authority sort of helped, I mean, the framing of this event came a little bit through conversations that we had. So I don't know if, if Liz is already here, but anyway, it's really great that we had those conversations. Do you wanna share the other ones? Well, we also have a bunch of other great sponsors, uh, and obviously we want to thank everyone from Parity, POA Network, 1KX, Zcash, and uh, the VPN Private Internet Access, who decided to sponsor us as well. I want to say a shout out to the team who's kind of come together in the last few days around this event, um, and a big thanks to Lorenzo, who's dealt with a lot of my uh, being late to things, and like he's helped me get organized, so I want to say thanks to him for that. And thanks to you. And, thanks and to you, for the yes. record, Anna has done most of the work for this <laughs> conference. I'm really just here being a pretty face. <laughs> um, yeah, back to the program. Uh, I think, yeah, I think what we can do right now is basically just show what's coming up right after this. We're about two minutes late, so I think we're not too bad. Um, but we're gonna start with, uh, Ariel Gabison's from Zcash's talk here on the main stage about Zcash and ZK Snarks. There's an identity roundtable starting in breakout one, run by Garrett and Paul. And then Awa is going to be doing um, something on proof of stake in the sidechain stage three, which is all the way at the end of the hall. So yeah, I hope you guys choose what you want to watch. And just once again, this is the Wi-Fi. So you didn't have to take a picture. I was going to show it again. Anyway, yeah. So thank you guys so much. And I'd like to welcome our first speaker, Ariel. Ariel. No.